Olá gente, o canal VTD está aqui na International Drive, onde será uh, aberto aqui hoje o Marian Andretti Indoor Cards. Então, gente, vamos lá dentro hoje conhecer como que é esse Indoor Card do Marian Andretti, que dizem que é muito lindo. Vamos lá conhecer, pessoal. E estamos aqui na frente do Marian Andretti uh, Indoor Car, onde a gente está aguardando aqui a chegada do Marian Andretti em pessoa, tá? para a inauguração do Marian Andretti Indoor Car. Tá? E, gente, aguarda com a gente aqui, daqui a alguns minutinhos ele vai estar aqui na frente, onde se dará início a inauguração do, a oficial aqui do, do Mario Andretti Indoor Car aqui em Orlando, na Flórida. Aí gente, estamos aqui aguardando aqui a chegada de Mario Andretti, juntamente com a família Andretti aqui, ao, um dos maiores, considerado um dos maiores Indoor Car do mundo, talvez. Então gente, aqui está ele, aqui chegando aqui, ó, junto com a família. Mari Andretti com a, aqui, a prefeita aqui da cidade de Orlando aqui, ok? E ele acaba de chegar aqui para a inauguração do Indoor Car aqui na cidade de Orlando. Aqui. Espera, deixa eu saludá-lo. Vamos aqui ver se aproximando aqui, gente. Excuse me. Prefeita da cidade de Orlando aqui, juntamente com ele aqui, ó. Aí, gente, agora vamos andar aqui para poder para a inauguração. Aqui, gente. Mara Andretti com a prefeita da cidade de Orlando aqui. Aí, gente. Vamos lá dentro para ver o resto da inauguração.
68 million people from around the world come every year, more than any place else in the entire nation. And you're right across the street from our convention center, the second largest in the nation. People are going to come here and they are going to absolutely love this experience. So I'm here to say thank you. Thank you to the Andrelli family. Thank you for making I Drive in Orlando home. And now, with any further ado, it's my pleasure to present a proclamation on behalf of Orange County. And it's long, so I'm going to spare you. So let me just get to the point. Whereas the Andretti Racing Cars career and motorsports company has been a family business and features many motorsports attractions, including two locations in Georgia and the Andretti Thrill Park in Melbourne, Florida, and now includes the newest chapter in the Andretti family history, the Andretti Indoor Karting and Games Complex on International Drive, Orlando, Florida. And whereas Orange County government is honored to join in celebrating the legacy of Marianne Andretti and the entire family and the grand opening of the Orlando location, where families and people of all ages from around the world will be able to enjoy the excitement the heart-pounding attractions and the unique event spaces at the Andretti Indoor Karting and Games Complex. Now, therefore, I, Teresa Jacobs, by virtue of the authority vested in me as Orange County Mayor, do hereby proclaim today, Tuesday, October 17, 2017, as Andretti Day in Orange County, Florida. <laughs> Mr. Andretti, God bless you. Thank you to the entire team, to everybody involved. We welcome you to be part of the family of Orlando, and we wish you many, many blessings and much, much success. But you don't need my wishes. You're already there. It is now my pleasure to bring to the stage managing partner and I think honorary member of the Andretti family at this point, uh, Eddie Hammond. Hi guys. You have no idea how many times I dreamed of the day that Mario Andretti would be driving on International Drive. It, it was the coolest thing we could ever imagine. And have uh, uh, Mayor Jacobs with him. It, it's the conclusion of all the hard work that this county has done to keep us to this point. Mayor Jacobs, thank you so much for your cooperation during this project. So I've been given the task to thank many people. And if I had to do it by name, obviously we'll be, we'll be here for about two weeks. But I want to tell you this. If you can hear my voice, it's because in some way, you made a significant quantifiable contribution to the reason why we're here today. So please feel like you're part of our family. We love you, all of you, and I appreciate the fact that you're here tonight. So give yourself a hand. We want to thank our financial partners uh, with EPR, especially Andrew Limbacher and Erin Lynn and Eric Watson. They felt our passion for the business. They saw what the plan was, and the result was this beautiful facility that was right across from the convention center. And at the end of the day, based on the last couple of weeks, we, we feel that this corner of Universal Boulevard would become a destination for many years to come. With the addition of our friends behind us at Top Golf, I think this is going to be a one-two punch and we'll be here for many, many years for you and your clients. So thank you very much for being here. We also want to thank um, Arco Murray, the company that built this beautiful facility for the hard work. And I specifically want to thank my partner, Ed Kennedy. He was here every day and a lot of nights to make sure that when the place was finished, this gentleman to my right and to my left would be happy with it. So please give a hand to my partner, Ed Kennedy. Um, we have many sponsors in this facility. 
but there's one sponsor that really stepped up for us and helped us a lot, and I want to thank Cindy Couplet and Michelle, I saw them over there, with Pepsi Cola. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. And I also want to thank Dominic Ford with uh, Mercedes-Benz of South Orlando for providing these beautiful vehicles to transport the family today, so give them a hand, please. I want to thank the staff, and uh, you know, everybody says they have the best employees, right? But I tell you, working for the Andretti family is uh, it's a pleasure, but it comes with a lot of responsibility. And we go out and we try to find the best of the best talent so we can produce the product that you see here today. So to our staff, you know, I don't have to tell you, how much I love you. I spend a lot of time telling you that, but it's because we mean it, and because they tell me to tell you that they appreciate everything you do. So our staff of 450 people work very hard to put this event together for you. So give them a big, big hand. We also we obviously want to uh, thank our families. Uh, you know, we leave it every day, days at a time, and uh, honey, my girls, their wives, you know, thank you for everything that you do. They're, you see people working every day, but the people that really make it happen are those that are home, are home, keeping us balanced, so none of this goes to our head. So please give a big, big hand to our families. To the family, to the Andretti family, boy, you know, it's been now 22 years since I've had the honor to, to work with them. And uh, for your benefit, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce them, and if you can stand, please, when I introduce you that way, and I will tell you in relation who they are to each other. They're all race car drivers, so I want you to get to know them a little bit better. So Adam Andretti, Is John Andretti's brother and the son of Aldo Andretti, which happens to be Mario's twin. See, after 21 years, I kind of know this stuff. Thank you, Adam. So, Jared Andretti. When I met John Andretti, Jerry was 40 years old. He was born in December 13, 1992. And he's John Andretti's son. Thank you, Jerry. The next one doesn't need an introduction. Everybody knows who Michael Andretti is. Michael is Mario's son, and of course the cousin of John and Adam, and the brother of Jeff, and the father of Marco and Marisa. Well, I got that right, didn't I? My good friend, this is the gentleman that made it all happen. This is the first man that heard the whole thing about Andretti and entertainment. And uh, um, he, through the years, will become good friends, and you'll hear from him in a little bit. John Andretti. Marisa Andretti is Marco's sister, and she works with the team on the marketing side. Jeff Andretti is Mario's son, a race car driver on his own right. IndyCar star, present star, Marco Andretti. And of course, the driver of the century, the legend, Mario Andretti. These are the people that gave us the foundation to what you see here, and you'll see here for many years to come in many cities. But not a foundation built of brick and carpet and lights, but a foundation built on winning, excellence, commitment, love, love for people. Don't let them fool you, because they're there calm and collected, but about an hour ago, we were on the track, and they almost killed me out there. But everything that they've done, is what got us here today. So Mario and family, you know what? I'm gonna say more. 
Mario, Marco, Jeff, Marisa, John, Michael, Jared, and Adam. On behalf of the 1,200 employees that work for you and the many thousands that will work for you in the future, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And finally, I want to thank God. We are men of faith, and it is through that faith that we will fulfill the commitments that we made to our financial partners, to our customers, to our suppliers, and the promises that we made to our families, to this gentleman. Every day of our lives, we live it for him. And today is no different. One day in the future, the children of our children will look for a defining moment of when I'm ready in your cutting and games, made it. When did we make it in the map? And it wasn't because of the facilities. It, it was because today, on October 17, 2017, we gave God all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. And all who believe say, Amen. This gentleman I'm going to introduce next um, called me in January and told me that he was entered a new race. And this race, he did not sign up for, but he was going to win it. In his own words, he said, in this new race, second is not an option. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, John Andretti. What a great day for our family. All I do is keep looking at this sign with all the fire on the Andretti Grill. We don't like fire much in our family. But Eddie wanted me to talk about the challenge that I'm facing. Um, I really didn't want to because I didn't want to bring anything down. But for those that don't know, um, I have stage four colon cancer. And the, the positive part of it has been the racing community and all the family and friends that have come about when we went public with it. The idea here is to get people to get screened with colonoscopy so that they don't suffer the same thing that I'm suffering through. It's a truly, it's a truly preventable, um, preventable disease. It's called the silent killer, so you don't know if you have it or not. So basically, what you wanted me to do is spread that message today that hopefully you do that. We started a campaign called Check It For Andretti, a hashtag. And um, I've been so fortunate because my cousin Michael, through his race team, Andretti Autosport, and the car driven by Marco, so often was prim the primary sponsor on the car to support that cause and to bring it to everybody's forward of the mind. There's many people that I've met throughout the, this eight or nine months that have been going through chemotherapy and, and surgeries and other things that have really given me a lot of energy the people that pray for me, but also the people that are getting colonoscopies, the lives that were changing. My sister, who is 42 years old, 42 years old, she um, she went in for a colonoscopy even though she didn't reach that minimum age, and she actually had six precancerous polyps. So probably the greatest life that, in my mind, that I've saved or, or been a part of has been my sister. So all those other people that have been a part of this, I want to thank. I want to thank Stan. Ed and Eddie, they've done a wonderful job at this facility. They've always been dear friends of ours. They've always grown in the, they're motorsports guys. They're part of our family. We call him Eddie Andretti because he's part of this family. And now it's time to get on to the cool stuff and the greatest facility, Family Entertainment Center, there is in this nation. And it's all thanks to my family and these folks behind me. Thank you. I said it very, very quietly, 
and we want the community to be proud of us because we're certainly proud to be here. And we're not taking that for granted, that welcome that we're receiving. And thank you to all of you for being here today and help us celebrate this moment because it means, it means a tremendous lot for us. And believe me, uh, uh, we look forward to, as I said, many, many years of entertainment here. Uh, it's certainly going to be one of my stops, <laughs> even though I'm in the office every morning. Not really. Uh, but uh, I'm one that uh, enjoys the fruits of uh, what we have to offer. And, and again, Orlando will be our second home for sure. And again, look forward to many years to come. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Hi Mike, how are you? I'm very good. Mike, thank you for the invitation here to come here to the uh, Grand Open from, you, from your uh, place here. Uh, explain to me, what happened here today? Uh, this is actually the grand opening of our uh, f third facility. We have two of these facilities up in, in Atlanta and now we've, we've expanded down here in Orlando, which I think is, you couldn't have a better location right across from the convention center here. and. Uh, uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, it's a fantastic facility. It's a, it's a, it's a place for a family to come and and just have a lot of fun. I mean, you can come here for a day and still not cover all the things you can do here. And and uh, it's just a, it's 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 a fun place. It's a family place, uh, as well as corporate. They do a lot of corporate work here as well. Uh, they do a lot of team building things like that. Um, so uh, it covers all different. Uh, demographics. You say that you have uh, other facility uh, not here in Orlando. Where is your, the other facility you guys have here in America? There's two in Atlanta. Um, right now there's uh, we should be opening one next probably around July in San Antonio then the following year well, we're going to be in, in um, uh, Dallas and then I think we're going to Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale so we're, we're getting really aggressive uh, for the expansion. Okay, and uh, all the facilities that you guys open is the same like this one, or they're going to do different? Like the ones like in uh, Miami will be a different, uh, smaller, or the Orlando facility here is the larger one? Um, that's a good question. I don't know for sure. I don't think we have all the plans done yet, um, but this is definitely our biggest one to date. I know that San Antonio is going to be very big. It's going to be close to this, maybe even a little bit bigger. So I know one thing that every time they build a new one, they're, they're learning and they're making them better. Um, so 
Um, but I think, you know, the basics are all going to be the same. Like when you come into the one in Atlanta, you're going to, it feels the same as coming into this one. So when you come into them, they're very similar. It's just when you, you look at some things like the racetrack here, uh, there's three different levels. Uh, whereas in Atlanta, there's two levels. And they can actually in, put the three levels together to make one track over a mile long, which is pretty cool. You can do this here in this yeah, facility. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yep. Wait till you get out there and see it. Boy, this is a good thing. I want to see this because I am impressed. I'm very, very impressed with the, the how everything here that you guys build this. I really seriously never see something like this before. So. There is nothing like this facility in the world right now. It's a, it's the nicest karting and gaming facility for sure. We'll put this up to anywhere in the world. Hey, Mike. Thank you very much for your time here to explain to us here, and uh, hopefully I see the the rest of the installation here. Okay, I'm at the, right now. I tell you, it's gorgeous, beautiful, you know, and uh, hopefully you guys open more and more and uh, the rest of the world because uh, people need to see how they look like here. Uh, thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Mario. Uh, thank you for inviting us here and open up your house here. Thank you for being here. Um, Mr. Mario, you can tell me a little bit here, you start in this type of business on a cart or this is make you bring you back to like the time you used to race? Uh, well, in so many ways, yeah, there's everything that you see here is about winning. It's competition, it's games, it's anything that, uh, that you see here, it's about winning and, and, uh, and enjoying that, of being curious and uh, have the competitive spirit and all that. So. But um, uh, this venture uh, came about through my nephew John, you know, who was with Eddie Haman, who is uh, the general manager for all of our uh, facilities, uh, many, many years ago. And we started um, one in, in Atlanta, which we still have in Roswell, and then from there we went to Marietta in still Florida. This is number three. But uh, there's a lot of experience here, and uh, we saw how successful those locations have been, you know, for us. So, for us, the natural thing was to expand the area would have a great degree of traffic and tourism, which is right here. I mean, uh, right next to Disney, Orlando Convention Center. I mean, all the entertainment, you look around, hotels, everything, it, it's all about here, it's about tourism. And that's where you want to be, and uh, we were so fortunate, you know, that we found this place. And uh, but uh, it's a business that uh, we identify with, you know. Uh, the main thing is the go karts. You know, we have three different floors, you know, with the go kart racing. But then we have everything else. We have restaurants, you know. We have bowling, you know. So it's for the whole family. Not the entire family wants to drive a go kart. So you do something else, you know, and. Uh, we have meeting rooms, as you can see, we're in one of them here, you know, so uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's something that, a uh, facility that's uh, good for family, but also for business. You can bring entertainment here, you know, if uh, many companies want to entertain clients, you know, they either go golfing or this, that, well, come here then, something different. And, uh, yeah, I see the, the, the place here, like I have a, a little bit from everybody in the house, like you can go if somebody say, oh, I don't like, uh, you know, cart, uh, but they, they like bowling or they like uh, to come in for eat something, you know, enjoying doing something. I, I, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, we can cater to the entire family, you know, no matter what age and what they like. Like I said, it, you can do whatever melts your butter. Now, you try to translate that. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm going to try this later to Portuguese because this is our, the, this is our language, the basic language of our channel. Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese. Yeah. Uh, um, you, you don't speak any Portuguese. No, I'm sorry. Um, sou italiano. Sou italiano. É como diz, eu não falo italiano. O nosso cameraman aqui, the cameraman, they speak Italian. Ah. Uh, he's an Italian, actually, a ah. family from uh, from South Brazil, and they speak Italian there. Oh, many, many Italians in Brazil. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, we. Uh, 
You know, the relationship with Brazilians is very, very close. You know, look at all the drivers that I know. It's like I have like like other families there. You know, so uh, we are we understand each other. You know, very well. You know, we have the mentality is very close to the same. You go to Brazil before, I miss Oh yeah, I've been to Brazil. Yeah. I've raced there. Yeah, of course. Do you know, they know the tradition in São Paulo. Yeah. In São Paulo, if you go to anybody's house. And you and you don't eat macaroni on a Sunday. People look at you and say, "What do you want to do with my family? You want to you want to destroy my family?" <laughs> because see, how you come here and don't have a macaroni? Because it's part of the. I've, I've been I've raced to Sao Paulo, you know, uh, a few times, and uh, but I've never been invited. Oh, they're not invited for lunch, for, for, for oh dinner. God, no, man. nobody ever invited me for dinner. <laughs> oh, they, they so I will eat of, macaroni for sure. Yeah, they pizza. They uh, actually, I don't know if you know, there's a place in São Paulo there, like yeah. in an area there, a little smaller, a large one. Is the whole entire area is Italians. Oh, oh if you go yeah. to the like oh, the, anybody you asking is. To tell you or this is or this is no, everybody. No, no, no. I know I get uh, I get a lot of followers on on Twitter and so forth and uh, many fans from there. I know Italians. Mr. Mario, um, my question to you very quickly is: the, This is your. Uh, it told me before here. Somebody told me that you guys, you guys are gonna open more facility here in Florida. There are actually Miami and uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, you're gonna stay in only this business, or there is intention to you do something else? Well, we have uh, plans to expand this business here in Texas, and then then go to the Midwest, probably Indianapolis. Uh, but uh, we have other business. You know, we have a petroleum business on the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington. Uh, all along the coast, uh, but um, but this this business is just some, a specialty in itself, and uh, we want to expand judiciously. You know, just make the right moves. But I feel that we have a very uh, unique product overall. If you look at it, you know, the many go kart tracks, this and that. But this overall, I think, and um, and we want to, uh, to to be able to sh keep show showcasing it. You know, and. Uh, different communities and different states there's so many opportunities in, in America you know as you know and uh, so we want to look at it properly but um, we have uh, several properties already secured uh, next week we're breaking ground on another in San Antonio Texas mm -hmm. okay. uh, yeah and uh, we have another projected in uh, Dallas you know which will be finished in 2019 and uh, so we have growth, and then uh, south of Florida, more south, and, and uh, but th there's a growth ambition here for sure, and um, and again, you know, that's what makes the wheel go around, you know. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mario, for your time here and the opportunity to, to uh, interview you. Is actually, you know, like I say, uh, I'm personally your fan for a long, long time. Thank you.